Okay, now we're going to look at doing simple ionic compounds, but with polyatomic ions. So once again, we've got to make sure we have our periodic table close by. And uh, on the back of our sheet, we have this table of common polyatomic ions. So we'll make sure this is also handy. So we want to write the name and the formula of the compound that's formed between sodium and nitrate. Now, we need to be careful that we don't take nitrate and think that it's nitrogen off the periodic table because it's actually a polyatomic. So just like we did with the first video, we're going to find sodium. Sodium is right here, number 11 on the periodic table, symbol Na charge 1 plus. So we're going to write that at the bottom. Nitrate, again, not nitrogen. We have to go to our chart. Nitrate is right here. So nitrate is NO3 with a charge of 1 minus. So I've got my sodium, which is a 1 plus. I'm going to have my nitrate, which is NO3 with a 1 minus. And here we are. And crisscross. I will need 1 sodium for each 1 nitrate. So this is a 1 to 1 ratio. So we will have NaNO3. Now these are actually very easy to name because the combination of sodium and nitrate makes the compound called sodium nitrate. Let's do a compound between beryllium and phosphate. Beryllium on the periodic table, it's Be, it's a 2 plus. Phosphate is not on the periodic table. We need to go look at our chart of common polyatomic ions. So phosphate is right here, and it's a PO4 with a 3 minus. So beryllium, 2 plus, phosphate, PO4 with a 3 minus. Do the crisscross. I will need three beryllium's for each two phosphates. Now when we go to write this out, we need to be careful. So we need to write this properly, which is three beryllium's two phosphates. So you need to put brackets or parentheses around the phosphate to show that I have two phosphates. And the combination of beryllium and phosphate will make beryllium phosphate. 